384, 385, 386. Hello, everybody, and welcome. Woo, that was a high one. To Shenanaderp. Today I have a few things planned, and as far as I can tell, none of them actually involves being in my basement for the first time in a very long time. Ooh, ha! First thing I'm going to be doing is actually starting a project with uh, Bibliocraft. And it's going to take place out here, because I figure it fits in with the environment, and it involves these guys, the armor stands. Ooh, okay. And uh, if you don't know what Bibliocraft is, that's perfectly okay. I had no freaking clue what it was for like what two weeks after we ins or after we moved to the FTB Ultimate Pack. Somebody had to explain it to me what Bibliocraft was. It's it it's basically a mod that has a bunch of decoration stuff in it, and it's really really awesome. But we can do this. Boop 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 boop. And now it looks like there's a wither skeleton with a full set of nano armor. Yes, I can put uh, iron armor, or diamond armor, or leather armor, or whatever else I want on there. But uh, I, I personally think the nano armor looks the best. Because the nano armor has arms, whereas all of the other armor is just cut off at the shoulder here. Doesn't look nearly as cool. And I know what you might be thinking. Oh, well, why don't you just put, like, a player head on there? Well, there's a reason for that. And right here, I have Space's head. Uh, and if we... Alright, so we see my head. It's the standard black head with the red eyes. We put on Space's head, and we can actually see Space's face. But if we put it on our armor stand, it's just Steve. Yeah, I, I was quite disappointed when I found that out. It just shows Steve. So I figured I'd just use the Wither Skeleton Skull and possibly... Ooh, I didn't know I could put it right on there. Blank. Oh, nope. Ah, well, this is going to be a slight problem. Oh, and the uh, thing went away. Was that just lag that it actually stuck there, or... Will it stick there? Oh, that's still Steve's head. Crap. Oh, well. Um, we'll just put Space's head right there. <laughs> uh, but I'm thinking about doing that for all of the people on the server with different armor types and stuff like that and all their heads. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to be hunting some people on the server here. You know, when the next time they log on. Adult, I'm coming for you! Actually, he already has my head, so it's payback time anyways. Um, yes, so, uh, Space gave me a Sword of the Zephyr. No, I have not been playing with Thomcraft. I wish I did, but I wasn't. Uh, but I've been uh, enchanting the living hell out of it. I've also been enchanting the living hell out of my new armor. Uh, but note the fact that there are, like, five enchants on here, and there's four on there. Um, the Advanced Solar Helmet was doing the same thing as the Thomcraft stuff. Like, if we go over to ooh, our Anvil, and we put our Sword of the Zephyr in here, we say it's, we see it's too expensive. But if I put a book in there... It will let me do it because it's Thomcraft. Thomcraft lets you enchant much, much more than normal. Well, the uh, Advanced Solar Helmet was doing the same thing. I wish I had something that I could actually put on there for you, but I've kind of filled ev filled everything. The only thing that I haven't put on there is uh, Fiery Aura, and I don't think that actually exists anymore. At least I haven't seen it. Out of my, what, thousand or so books, I haven't seen a fiery aura in there. So, yeah, that might not actually exist anymore. I think that was a uh, Twilight Forest enchant. Came with a 
Naga scales? No, that was fire protect, wasn't it? Oh, I don't remember. But uh, either way, uh, I don't think it exists anymore. Alrighty, so uh, item frames are a no. I really wish that worked because that would have looked so much cooler than it does now. Is there anything else I can do to make it look cooler? I could put his head on a pike like I have them up there. Hmm, let's see what that looks like. Uh, I keep all my pikes in here. I don't know why. Well, okay, I do know why. I used to keep the heads up there, but I'm... You know, I moved them all down into the sorting machine. The uh, uh, applied energistics sorting machine down there. Uh, and I was far too lazy to move the uh, pikes. Yeah. So, should I put it beside or should I put it directly in front? Boink. No, let's put it beside. Let's try putting it beside. See if that looks better. I really wish I could put his head on there. That would that would have been far cooler. No, no. I might give up on the head thing entirely. Whoops. And uh, just put up a sign that says Space Gator on it. Uh, if only his arms were sticking out. That it would look like he's holding his head. That would that would be really freaking cool looking. Uh, well, I'll put it back on the ground for right now. I'll see what I want to do with it. Oh, I keep doing that. This thing is too bloody fast. There we go. That's better. All right. Um, okay, now it kind of looks like uh, Wither Skeleton took off the head and put it on the ground. That's mildly interesting, actually. Yeah, I'll, I'll have to look into other options there. That was a cool idea, but uh, seems to be a little limited. Hmm. All right, the next thing I want to do. Uh, you guys remember in the last episode, I was mentioning how our Mistcraft portals had broken. And I said I would need the original book to uh, try it again to see what was or to see if it was the world that we created or if it was just the the, the uh, linking book that we created because the original books weren't in the little slots there they were just linking books in there and what I would need is something like this which is the original world why does that say 1 out of 15 because it shows what all's in there that's actually kind of cool Alrighty, but uh, yes, yeah, Space popped in, gave me the uh, world book, threw the world book at me, obviously, because you can't really just chuck them out. It's not easy that way. And it crashed the server. I'm not joking. It, he threw the book out and the server crashed. So, <laughs> everything was screwed on that note. Uh, so we created a new world. Space created a new lava world for us. And... It works. Now, you'll notice that there's obsidian here, and the reason for that is, is because this platform that started, uh, this was solid stone, but this over here was gravel. And then all the gravel just went down into the lava, and you spawn here. See ya. Boop. Oh, and yeah, weakness, mining fatigue, Oh, shit. Ah. Uh, yeah, so, um... Actually, let's head back. And let's go into the nether. Because... Oh! Hi, Umbra! Tea hi, Umbra. I need your head, Umbra. I think. Anyways, ooh, what is this? Something I probably want to stay away from because those, the bees in the nether are kind of vicious. So uh, let's just avoid that. Let's see, I'm down here. Woo! I love the quantum boots for this kind of thing. Uh, up here. I did this just as temporary power until space showed up. And I could uh, 
pull all this stuff back. I need... Actually, I need to turn off the uh, pot, or the engine. And will the lava ever stop flowing? There it goes, okay. And then I need to take down the tesseract and the um, liquid duct. Because I don't have those spare. Oh, I should probably take this with me. Everything else I think I have in abundance. I don't need the engine at all for what I'm thinking about doing. I don't know if it'll work, but space threw this at me, so I may as well give it a try and see what happens. Whee! Whoa! Oh my... Holy crap, that was fast. There we go. Okay. So, I got my Tesseract. Uh, space threw this at me. The advanced pump. The best way of emptying oceans. Probably also the fastest way of getting lava through a liquid tesseract. But it does say that it's max EU. Oh, it says max EU per packet in 128. I wonder how much power it needs. Hopefully not a lot. Possible upgrades. TBM. No idea what that means. But I got a bunch of geothermal generators, some copper cable. I guess I should probably get some more liquid ducts, though, if I'm going to do this. If I need that many geothermal generators, I'm probably going to need more liquid ducts. So let's head on down. Holy crap, I'm in the basement. I didn't expect to be in the basement this episode. Alright, so liquid ducts, liquid ducts, liquid ducts, alright. I don't know if I'll need them, but I guess we'll find out. And if not, I'll just throw them back in. Space is chest. Whee! Yeah, space may be disorganized, but uh, I at least know where his stuff is. Oh, wait, no, not there, not there. I want to go into the scary place. I also could probably use some blocks. Because I want to put that pump up. So, cobblestone it is. Hopefully we don't have some type of strange decay that kills cobblestone. Or smooth stone, or anything like that. And I'm getting massive FPS issues every time I come around here. It's quite annoying. I use the freaking sorting machine, the storage system entirely, in its entirety, to get rid of the frames per second lag, and it seems to be causing its own little frames per second lag. It's kind of annoying, actually. Oh yeah, there's that too. Random lightning. Kind of annoying. That is very loud lava. As odd as that particular comment sounds, yes, that is very loud lava. Boop. 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 And this mining fatigue is very, very strange. to look like this, right? Something like this. Give me a little bit of space to work. Then we'll put the uh, advanced pump there. Alrighty. Uh, let's see. Geothermal generator goes there. And theoretically, this should be able to power the geothermal generator at the same time the geothermal generator is powering it. At least I assume. I have no idea. I've never played with this before. That's why I figured I'd put it up here just to see how this works. Yeah, okay. Um, I need power. So I need... Buckets for lava. Shouldn't need a lot of buckets for lava, but, uh, blink. And... It looks like it's sucking up power, but it's not saying anything here. And that's not green, either. If, if I'm, am I doing something wrong? And that sounded really close. 
Yeah, the random lightnings are probably going to bother the crap out of me. Especially once I actually get struck by them. It's not doing anything. Hmm. But this same seems to be sucking up the power. Or at least outputting power. Because it's all lit. And this thing ain't charging. Okay, so this is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing... A geothermal generator, once you put lava in it, the internal battery, this little marker here, will fill up. Once it's full, this will stop being lit. It'll just go black and sit there until the power is taken out of the internal battery. Well, the internal battery is not filling, and this thing's not doing anything. So this thing must be drawing power, but I have no idea where it's drawing power to. So, come on, there we go. Let us attach a few more geothermal generators and see what ha comes of it. I might have to re rethink this design if this actually is our problem. Oh, hey, it stopped. Did that mean it ran out of lava, or... I don't know, I can't tell. I don't know what I'm doing. I wish I did. I really, really do. I should have pro probably bought brought lava cells. That probably would have been easier to uh, store lava in. And I feel like I almost fell in the lava there. I know, that's probably what everybody's rooting for. Everybody's rooting for me to fall in the lava. Okay, so we got three things that are actually outputting power. So that is, I believe, a total of 60 EU per tick. But we're not doing anything. This thing's still red. Is there something else I need to do? Alright, to the wiki. I'm back from the wiki, and I think I figured out what I'm missing, and what I'm missing is mining pipes, which is absolutely hilarious, because if you click on mining pipes in the wiki, it says that these blocks cannot be created, and they cannot be broken. Apparently they have not yet been updated for Greg Tech, so supposedly these need to go there, and then supposedly this will actually do something. Um, I probably need even more lava now. Nope, nope, there we go. Oh, now we're green. Is this doing anything? It, it, it's, did something. I don't know what it did, but it did something. Um. You're not doing anything. You're, 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 you're not doing anything. Do I need more power? Maybe, by chance? I don't know what I'm doing. I am totally winging it. It does not say in the wiki exactly how much power this thing requires. Um, I mean, right now, we're give well, we were giving it 40 EU per tick, but uh, this thing seems to run out of power kind of quick. Oh. Um, wait, what the hell is this thing doing now? It doesn't seem to be doing crap. I don't know what's going on! Well, I got it to work, and it just took me poking around on the, uh, on, on the Feed the Beast forums for a while before I found somebody who was having the same exact problem. Basically, what you have to do... Okay, this is not like the Buildcraft pump, where you just plug the liquid duct in and it outputs automatically. You have to suck the lava out of it, and you do that by right-clicking the liquid duct with a wrench. Like how you can see that it's not there. This, this is just a regular pipe. It does nothing. It's nothing special pipe. And when you click it there, it's an output pipe, so it'll suck things out. Um, and then you have to give it power. Or 
or not. Now I'm curious. Do I have to give it a redstone signal? Let's pop that and find out. Boop. Interesting. It seems that once it's on, it's on. But... If I disable that, turn that... Oh, cool. Turn that off. Enable that. Oh. Wait, what the crap? I thought I turned you off. Hang on. Okay, so... That's active, but not pulling any lava. Turn that on, turn it off. And it only pulls that much. It continuously only pulls just that much. I have no idea. <laughs> That's very, very interesting. Um, let's just leave that on for right now. But, uh, yeah. So, uh, all of that out there is not from the pump. That is from these guys. The lava cells. Because I was just throwing power at it to see what would stick. And that stuck. Um, now I guess I gotta go back to the other side. And I don't think it's going to show me actually pulling lava. Because I don't think we have anything to pull lava into at the moment. Because it was in the lava, or in the nether pulling out lava. Uh... I think I know what the problem is. Okay. Um, hang on. Let me let me go back. I think the problem is the problem with uh, the the. I think the problem that we're coming across with the liquid duct is the same problem as I came across with the redstone energy conduits, and that is you cannot have an input and an output in the same place. So if we pop that, move that over. Uh, chrono lava, check. Send only. Disabled. Now it should be working. If we go into the overworld. Ooh, and I feel like I'm going so slow. And of course I, I am, and that's because of the weakness and the mining fatigue. But of course, since there's not theoretically going to be any mobs in there then it shouldn't be a problem, but... Yeah, I have some lava. Well, there's lava in the tubes. But I guess it's it's got to fill everything. Hmm. There might just be a limitation on how much the tesseracts can output. Because I am using kind of a lot of lava. Because each one of those is getting lava, and each one of those is giving lava. And they've all got to fill up. And they're all using power. For one thing or another. So yeah, okay, so that's... I don't know, that's one thing that I'm just going to have to let run and see what happens. I don't know... There might not be a point to have that advanced pump, advanced pump, or I might need to give it more power. Hey, it's night time. Let me show you guys a problem that I've been coming across. All right, so out here in the wilderness, outside of the safety zone that is my compound, I guess you can call it, Wandering around, I noticed something that uh, you guys may have already noticed. I'm standing out here. It is very dark. Let's see. B L. Where is that? B L is zero. Yeah. This is most definitely dark enough to spawn mobs. Hostile mobs. And I'm not seeing any. And I'm really, really confused. I noticed this yesterday. Um, 
and I looked at the settings on our server. Our server is set to hard mode, and hostile mobs are set to enable. And the reason I know that it actually succeeded, I can show you right woo, over here. Hear that? That's a zombie. If this was set to peaceful, we wouldn't have zombies. Even even uh, uh, soul shard spawn zombies like we have over there, we just wouldn't have them. They wouldn't be there. But uh, yeah, I've been uh, leveling up. Ooh, let's get out of here before that gets too loud. But yeah, I've been leveling up, enchanting my armor and everything there without a single problem. But I have not seen one naturally spawned hostile mob ever since we moved. And I'm very, very confused and a little worried because I only have three creeper heads. And yes, I know, they're not really useful for anything, because even with the fireworks, you could use any of the heads as uh, the creeper head firework. But it still bothers me that there are no... Um, there are no hostile mobs at all. And I am very, very, very confused by that. And it bothers the living hell out of me. Does any has anybody else come across this that there are no no hostile mobs whatsoever? Like I said, we upgraded to the latest version of the FTB Ultimate Pack, and we've been noticing a lot of very very strange strange things. For example, our Miscraft worlds went bye byes. Actually, had to delete Space's profile because he logged in, went into his Miscraft world, got kicked out. And couldn't log back in, because it kept trying to log him back into his Miscraft world. And I had to delete his profile, because I don't know how to fix that. And, of course, he lost everything that was on him at the time. So, same problem I had, except uh, restoring a backup was not an option, because he did that before. Uh, he did that a while ago. Which I guess I should probably ask him, did he do that before we migrated? Is this a problem that appeared while we were on the host? I don't know. I shall have to ask him. Hm. But we're going to have to, I guess we're going to have to recreate our mining world. But it's not miscraft in general that's broken, because obviously that world works. Yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm very, very, very confused. After about 45 minutes, half an hour, maybe-ish, somewhere around there, um, it looks like everything's working. I mean, all of the uh, industrial centrifuges are full. Uh, yeah, all the geothermal generators are full. I would also assume that the thermal generators are full. The pipes are full, so I would say that would work. I have no idea if it's faster than just the regular mining pipe. Uh, I guess that might be a uh, something for another time. Let's see if this is showing anything cool yet. Uh, it's supposed to be really cool. The advanced pump is supposed to be really, really cool, where it will um, uh, take all of the source blocks as well as the flowing blocks. No, not seeing anything yet. Well, that actually looks a lot smoother than it did before, but I don't know if that was because of the pump, because nothing else is over here. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. We're not seeing it yet. We probably won't see it for a couple of days, maybe. But from what I understand, for about 125 blocks, well, 125 by 125 blocks, we're going to get this square of nothing. Ooh, um, hang on, how much power do I have? Full power, okay. Check it! We got this, like, rectangle over here of missing lava blocks. 
Yeah, so something like that. And that is really far out there. Holy crap. Ooh, okay, how far does this go? Show the laser. Show me my lasers. That is the border. No, that is almost the border. That is just shy of the border. Ha! Wow. That is cool. If that's just shy of the border over there, too. I don't know. Cool. That is perfect size. Alrighty, so... I'd say we got some stuff done, and that just caught on fire. But, I'd say we just got some stuff done. Or... Yeah. Let's try this again. We got some stuff done today in this episode, and while today might be a slightly shorter than normal episode, I still, still think we're going to be about a half an hour long, which is exactly what I'm aiming for, so I'd say all is well. So, um... Couple of things. Um... I want you guys to shout out in the comments for a couple of reasons. One, I get a lot of comments, and I mean a surprising number of comments, like you should get more views, you should have more subs, that kind of thing. And I agree, honestly, but uh, yeah, I need to be humble, I need to shut up about that. However, uh, I could use you guys' help to do that. The more thumbs up you give, the more comments you give, that actually helps me considerably with my uh, uh, showing up on the YouTube Suggests stuff. And the more that I show up on the YouTube Suggests stuff, the more people watch and the more subscribers I get, in theory. But yes, so uh, there's also another reason, and this is actually more important to me. I like reading your comments. It's something I do when I'm bored. <laughs> Also, it's something I do when I'm slightly depressed. I get depressed, I go read YouTube comments. That's not going to end well, is it? But yes, so uh, yeah, shout out in the comments, talk it up, ask questions, give suggestions, all that fun stuff. I want to see your comments on there. So, till the next time, I will say to you guys as always, keep playing the game and have fun.